Hello, in this video, we're doing first impression video of this still RM655RS machine. So I've got it on demo at the minute. Uh, probably best time of year to demo mowers in the autumn. So it's a 21 inch cut machine. And as you can see, it's the same as their four wheel machine with a roller on the back so first impressions um, it's mainly been wet using this thing it's extremely good at bagging and that's mainly due to this being a plastic box as opposed to a mesh bag which just gets filled up with mess um, the engine it's nice nice little well it's a Briggs 750 160cc engine, which I wouldn't think would be powerful enough, but it seems to be. Um, as you can see here, that's a bag indicator. So when you're mowing along, that is that lifts up, and then when it's full, it shuts. Quite useful. But when you're mowing, this is my sort of view and you can't really see it so small thing uh, the biggest thing I'm not a fan of is these handlebars so I'm used to haters where this is your drive that's your dead man's handle on this this is your drive that's your dead man's handle or BBC rather BBC see. You have to pull that and at the same time pull this little lever here, pull that, and your blade's engaged, and you've got your drive to set with that. One of the things I was a bit concerned about, and other people are, is the fact it's only got one handlebar going down. But to be honest, the way this is designed with all this it's all built in you don't really notice it uh, it doesn't feel any different turning or anything like that um, another nice feature is if you pull push that uses you can adjust handlebar fold it down that's quite useful I think there's two or three different settings but I just have it on that one a higher setting for me as we look underneath the mower so as we can see underneath it's got a few build up and considering it's been used for a few days in solid wet thick grass it's not too bad so this blade design is quite a interesting design here and um, hasn't got a crank warranty on it that I'm aware of you just got usual gearbox, split roller, nice chain covers, hasn't got any fins. So yeah, pretty impressed. One thing to add with this mower that I'm not a fan of is the smooth roller. Um, in the wet it just spins and uh, ruins the lawns and if it's muddy, which is this time of year, it just um, makes a bit, bit of a mess and if you stop halfway through a lawn, halfway through a stripe rather, to um, have a cup of tea, talk to a client, empty the box, and then you go, it tends to just spin and leave a line of mud. So I think they could put a more um, rib design like the Hater and Wee Bang on that roller. But other than that, it's nice that it's a split roller. Quite nice, got quite nice width on it. And I like these are metal guards to protect the chain cover. Something should be done a bit more often. Um, another nice little feature is this with a pull rope. You can easily get it on, on and off. Quite nice without having to undo anything. 
So would I recommend this mower? Yes, uh, I would. Um, it's pretty good, the dry speed is nice for bagging. It's just a nice good walking pace, which I think more mowers should be at. Um, and the bagging performance is very good. If they address these, being well, they, these could be more comfortable and I do think it should be the other way around like a hater um, I think they might sell even more because that's just a bit confusing myself but other than that the height of cut you lift this bit here and there's those are numbers there matches up with that little dent um, it does cut quite high being a four wheel mower deck um, but that probably also helps with the bagging performance because it does cut quite high. Number two on this is like a three or four and a hater. Um, but that's all right, you don't want grass too short. So yeah, I will recommend this mower. Um, this would be in the mow-off comparison next month. So um, watch this space.